birthday to and I think it's very important for everyone in our lives to have moments that you just enjoy yourself uh, <laughs> With spreading the word of ayahuasca that it exists to heal your problems, to heal your past, to change your perspective about life, to open up your consciousness. I feel like it's really serious that I'm gonna write my book at the moment. I can look at this for hours and hours and it's as if my soul is like <gasps> oh I cannot capture this on a video this beauty came home and underneath I'm still dry Whew. what to do when it rains well playing the guitar and taking an open shower in the rain here it is going to sleep and tonight's gonna to be my birthday or tomorrow morning I'm looking forward even while I'm not having a party and I'm in Bali and I know a lot of people here and I decided to go to jungle fish in the morning in the evening I'm having a dinner so I do have some plans but I also let it just come and it doesn't have to be a big party. I'm alive every day. Waking up at my birthday. Wow. I'm already 35. Cannot believe it. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday! This is my healthy cocktail on my birthday. Hmm. Big ceremony is going on today in Bali. Look, um, yeah, every house in Bali is having this. I'm gonna show you. Before I left, my sister gave me this card and now finally, because it's my birthday, I'm allowed to open this. So let's see what she is writing to me. I can tell you 
tell you one thing, and that is that it's very touching to me what she's writing. I just came home here and here it was like almost four o'clock and first I was calling with my younger sister and in the meantime my older sister called me and then my mother called me like all the same time it's so nice the way I grew up is that I learned to be um, to become an achiever but I'm a combination of my father and my mother and for my father, mm -hmm. achievement is really, really important. Money and um, those kind of things. My mother is more from a creative family and I am both. Like, I love to achieve, but I also love to be creative and write things and make videos and uh, do something with music and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's very important for everyone in our lives to have moments that you just enjoy yourself and it's it's been hard from always achieving things and helping and giving to others than to allow myself to really enjoy myself and having a good time and also step into my creative process not earn money and just spend it remember the singer that i saw in the bar i thought she was so amazing so i asked her can you please teach me how to sing, how to improve my voice? So I'm going to take singing classes today. Don't know where it is. Looking around. I see an open door. Let's go there. Because in Bali they live in communities, everyone knows each other, small villages. I just asked, do you know Irene? Uh, I think she lives in there. So it's going to be here in this house. So well, here we have Rudy. Yeah. yeah. And here we have Judy. Judy. Ah. Both yeah. playing the guitar. So these are the things that I need to learn. Posture, yep. uh, some exercise for the lips, articulation, um, yeah, to have the power from inside, to perform really well, and also some other techniques that I'm gonna learn today and these coming classes. <laughs> to feel that fine or do you need more and it hard keeping it so hard because I'm falling just had my singing class and I like to show you a little bit about this village but it's I cannot drive and film when I drive I drive and when I make a video I make a video so, not completely true, but on the motorbike I can only focus on one thing. And tomorrow I have my second singing class, so I'm really going for, for this new passion. How do you think about 
about your future. I am always quite serious about my future. I've had it since, um, since I feel like I want to make something out of my life. In one hand, I feel like it's all about having fun, feeling good. But on the other hand, I feel it's very serious. So I'm questioning myself, where do I want to be? And this is all like based on feelings, the answers. And sometimes you don't feel clearly where you want to be, what you want to do. And now that I'm in Bali, I'm getting some answers. And I feel like this is a really good place for me to be because my goal is to write my book and I want to spread my book. I want to make this book really famous and not because I want to be famous, but I'm on a mission and I feel like if people know about Ayahuasca and the word is spread and this what I feel as my mission, this is how I all started with spreading the word of ayahuasca that exists to heal your problems, to heal your past, to change your perspective about life, to open up your consciousness. And I feel if we all open our consciousness, if we look different at our own lives, different at ourselves, different at each other, different at life, if we open up our hearts more and plant medicine, ayahuasca is one example, but other, also other plant medicine, it's a fantastic tool to gain those kind of things. So I feel like it's really serious that I'm gonna write my book at the moment and I feel this is an amazing place. In a way, it's a little bit boring that I'm on the same place because I love variety. But on the other hand, I, and I think it's really good to have a comfort zone. So this is my comfort zone. Bali, Ubud, this place, this house. I know how to move here. And I think it's a good decision for me to make to stay here for a couple of months to commit myself on writing my book. Um, because if I go to another place that I don't know, I have to also uh, get used to another place. And, and I think this is just perfect. I love it here. I'm in a creative space. And this is a place where I can write. Ubud is well known for creativity, for art, for music. So yeah, this is the right place for me. And I think I am at the moment in making the decision of staying here also in April and May. Um, June, I think I also would like to stay here. And then July, I have some plans to go to the US. I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, the only plan that I'm sure about is October Hawaii. Um, yeah, when you see this, it's a different time frame, I guess. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming with myself and I start to feel like, yeah, I guess this is the place where I want to be better than the Netherlands. Yeah, I'm going to miss my family. I'm going to miss my friends, but I'm on a mission and I feel like I have to put this on my number one. Yeah. So I'm in a decision process. Keep you posted. Thank you.